else I want to see. Sit down, Jaeger. Help yourself to a drink. Well, Logan, looks like we'll soon have control of the whole mining field around here. I'm afraid you're right, Jaeger. I don't believe there'd be any committee left after we've led them into three or four more traps. And when that happens, most of the miners around here who haven't been scared into quitting or selling their claims are going to decide that it's high time they did. Want to see me? Yeah. Ed's been telling me everything went off like clockwork again. Yes, it did. I was convinced George Blake that he ought to sell out. He'll probably be around to see you today, so don't give him any more than's necessary, you understand? Leave that to me. Anything else? No, that's all. Say, I noticed some extra guards at the bank. Stevens must be worried about the silver piled up in his vaults. He is, huh? Well, we'll relieve him of his worries in just a few days. Look, Logan, we can get... Hello, Forbes. How's Ned? Is he badly hurt? No, the doctor said he'd pull through, all right. I'd like to talk to you for a minute, Logan. You boys don't mind leaving, do you? I, uh, what's on your mind, Dan? Henry, I'm convinced that there's something wrong around here. Wrong? What do you mean? Has it ever occurred to you that those bandits have anticipated every move we've made? Each time we've found their new hideout and tried to surprise them, they've surprised us instead. Now, that's just not coincidence. Only us vigilantes knew when and where we were going to strike. And I'm convinced that someone among us is talking to the wrong people. It does look that way, Dan. You got any idea who it is? No, but I will. How? I sent for a friend of mine from Arizona to join us and ferret out the weasel. Name's Hopalong Cassidy. Hopalong Cassidy. Who is he? I've never heard of him. Well, you will. He'll arrive in four or five days. Dan, have you told anybody else about this? No, I intended keeping it a secret until he arrived. But after what happened today, I thought I'd better let you know. I'm glad you did. It'll give me a chance to line things up for him. You better let me know as soon as he arrives. I will. Jaeger, Stone. Did you ever hear of an hombre called Hopalong Casting? Yeah, why? Well, Forbes suspects someone on the committee. He sent for Cassidy to uncover him. I don't like this, boss. I tangled with Cassidy when he was marshal at Santa Fe. He's bad medicine. Oh, keep your shirt on, Ed. We shouldn't have any trouble taking care of just one man. Yeah, that's what some of my old outfit thought. But they're dead, and he's still alive. Now, wait just a minute. Cassidy will head west, and that means he'll come through Gunsight Pass. You hold up there and greet him with a rifle. You know, Jaeger, Forbes is getting too suspicious for his own good. You understand? What do you know about that? France shipped 13 million barrels of apples to the United States in 1901. It's a lot of apples. Him, Weaver. I don't know. I just got a glimpse of his back. How is he, Doc? Pretty bad. Get him over to my office right away. It's your turn, Ed. Get going. Bird. 
dog, which way do we go? Well, doggone it, Hoppy, I thought we were heading right for Dunsight Pass, but something I ate this morning must have upset my sense of direction. Yeah. Are you sure there is such a place as Gunsight Pass? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Why, I know every rock, rock stream, hill, and canyon in the whole country. country. Well, we'd better separate here if we want to find that pass. What happened, Hoppy? I tried to dry gulch me, then fell for that old Indian trick. Well, if it ain't big Ed. Yeah. Looks like the outlaws found out that Forbes sent for you, Hoppy. Yeah, it kind of looks that way. Lucky, would you get my horse for me? Sure. Don't look so good, huh? young man. How's Dan? Oh, he's much better. Oh, that's good. <laughs> we didn't expect to see you till next month. Well, I didn't intend to come until then, but I heard about Dan being shot, and I decided he needed me to nurse him, and so here I am. There you are, ma'am. Well, how much? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars? Ten dollars for that short trip? After being bounced around that moth-eaten old rattle trap of yours? Here's five dollars, and you better take it, because it's all you're going to get. Only expected three dollars. Dad, Aunt Jennifer's here. Why, Jenny? Dan, how are you? <laughs> I feel fine. Good. <laughs> Just what I thought, running a fever. Well, but... Don't butt me, Dan. I know what I'm talking about. You're not taking care of yourself. That's right, Aunt Jennifer, and I can't do a thing with it. Well, it'll mind me or I'll know the reason why. I'll be back in a little while. What you need is a good cup of hot sassafras tea, and I'm going right out to make it for you. Sassafras tea. Duh. I'll be back in a few minutes, Frank. I'm going over to Weaver's. All right, miss. It's all right, Frank. So you knew where Gunsight Pass was all the time, huh? Sure I did. 
I know it was right. <laughs> Like you old spoofer, you could probably get lost on a pool table. <laughs> Happy! Why, Helen, I didn't recognize you at first. But no wonder, the last time I saw you, you had pigtails and great big freckles. Oh, you haven't forgotten those freckles, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want you to meet a couple of partners of mine. This is Lucky Jenkins and California Carlson. Boys, meet Miss Helen Forbes. Howdy, miss. Hello, Hello Helen. You. Is your father home? Yes, but... Hoppy, he was shot and almost killed a few days ago. He was... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, how'd it happen? I'll tell you about it on the way home. Glad to see you, too. How are you? Well, I feel a lot better now that you're here. Fine. Oh, Dan, I want you to meet a couple of friends of mine. This is Lucky Jenkins and California Carlson. Hi, Ford. Howdy. And this one's sure good at finding trails. Was that so? <laughs> well, you're both welcome. Well, thanks. I think we're going to like it here. Oh, um, uh, Helen told us all the trouble, Dan. I think we better get down to business. Did anyone know you sent for me? Yes, Henry Logan, president of the Miners Association and head of the Vigilantes. Well, that's interesting. Well, how do you mean? Well, an outlaw we know by the name of Big Ed tried to get me at the entrance to Gunsight Pass. You don't think Logan sent him? Well, it kind of looks that way. <sighs> that's nonsense. Logan's the biggest man in Silver Center. Yeah, but if he didn't tell Big Ed about Hoppy, who did? Dad, do you suppose that Logan is responsible for you being shot? Well... Do you think I ought to tell the rest of the vigilantes about this? No, I don't think I'd do that, Dan. They might be in with the outlaws, and that'd put them all on their guard. And just suspecting Logan isn't going to be enough. We've got to get some definite proof. But how? Well, uh, do you know all these vigilantes? Yes, I... Well, hand me that book, will you, honey? I got a list of them right here. That is... All of them that are left. Well, that might kind of help. Luke! My Luke! Ma'am, you're mistaken. I'm California Carlson. Carlson? Oh, um, oh, Hoppy. I'd like to have you meet my sister. Jenny, this is Mr. Cassidy. How do, Mr. Cassidy? How do you and, do? Uh, this is Mr. Jenkins. Mr. Jenkins. How do you do, ma'am? I guess you already know Mr. Carlson. Howdy. Well, I can see that you're not my Luke. He went away ten years ago to seek his fortune, promised to come back to marry me. And I thought for a moment, you're the spitting image of him. Uh, well, um, I think we'd better get to town. And remember, none of you have ever seen us before. Yeah, none of you has ever seen us before. See you later, California. Sure. Bye. Bye. Just a minute, I'm going along, Hoppy. And I've even put on extra guards. And I won't feel easy till I've gotten rid of all the silver stored in my vault. Stop worrying, Stevens. Those outlaws would have raided the bank before this if they thought they could get away with it. Well, maybe so, maybe so. But I certainly hope it'll be safe to start shipping again soon. It will be. You can rest assured of that.
good and tough. Jaeger? No, but they look like gunmen on the prod. I wonder who they're after. I'll find out. Happy? Yeah? I ain't so sure I like this idea of yours. <laughs> Control your nerves. Hey, we want to put our horses up for a few days. All right. Four bits a day. Fine. Howdy, stranger. Howdy. Welcome to Silver Center. Thanks. You staying here long? That depends on how long it takes us to find the man we're after. Maybe you know him. His name's Cassidy. Cassidy? No, I don't think I do. He a friend of yours? What do you think, mister? I was planning on raising my mind, Henry. I just got word about it a little while ago. Yeah? You go ahead. I'll pick up Jaeger and meet you at the fork. See you later. Yeah. Who is that man? Why, that's Henry Logan. He just about runs this town. Yeah? Well, wow, looks like we struck pay dirt right off. What do you say, Hoppy? Let's catch up with them, see if we can get into the shindy. Well, not me. Now, we got enough trouble as it is without looking for any. You've forgotten what our real job is, huh? Come on, let's go to the hotel and get some room. Get the boys ready. Imagine they're worrying about losing these old. Oh, we'll buy him another one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> sure is a dead town. You never can tell about these dead towns. Sometimes they come to life all of a sudden. Well, hang your head, you cause the trouble. I cause the trouble. You get that horse's hair out of your eyes, you know what you're doing. I'll learn you to drive. Hey, boy, look. Hey, that's it. You are. You wanted a shindig, huh?
down. Come on. Excitement anyhow. Come on, boys. Well, what happened? Why, they tried to hold up the bank, but they didn't get away with it. Those three strangers took care of that. Yeah? How's that? Why, some men started a fight out in the middle of the street. Then they got the guards inside. I'll never get over it. 20,000 in silver slipping out of our hands just like that. Ah, stop moaning, will you? We'll make up for it once we get control of the mines around here. What are you going to do about those three strangers? Well, I think I'll try to get them to join the vigilantes. Have you gone crazy? That's a big idea anyway. We'll keep them out of the way when the boys are busy. And what's more, they may come in handy just in case Ed lets that Cassidy get through. I don't know, Dan. There seems to be so many of them mixed up in this. But from what you say, it looks to me like Willis and Yeager are in with Logan. It's remarkable how you resemble my Luke. Puppy love. <laughs> oh. Oh, what a beautiful moon. Why, California, your sign too. <laughs> Is that right? No. Put this finger here, and that finger there. Now, strike a chord. Oh, yeah. That's a good, huh? Well, I guess I never was cut out to play a guitar. I thought all cowboys played guitars. Oh, no. Not the ones from the bar 20. Here, you play something. Maybe I'd better. I know a song you'd like. Want to hear it? Oh, sure. Tonight I see a new expression in your eyes You seem a million miles away And do I hear a true confession in your sighs What do they mean? What are they saying? Our last night together The end of my tenderest dream One little storm can't we weather Tomorrow the sunlight may be I'll That's 
just the way I used to sing to my Luke. Ma'am, if you'd sung that way, the look, he'd never have left you. Uh, what I mean to say is... Is that nice? Well, that's me. I'm no better than a horn toad. Uh, and I'm rough, especially with women. Oh, California, you intrigue me so. <laughs> Sweet dream of love Live on Gosh, that was sure pretty. I'm glad you liked it, Lucky. Now there's a case of real puppy love. Hmm. Mighty nice looking couple, too. Yeah, they are, Dan. Poppy. Yeah? Have you got any idea what Logan's next move will be? No, I haven't, Dan, but we're doing everything we can to find out. And you know as well as I do, folks ain't scared so easy since the bank rate failed. We better do something quick or else our scheme's liable to fall flat. We will. We'll wait a few days and let them think it's blowing over. And then we'll hit them like a hurricane. Well, how you doing? Well, I'd feel a lot better if you had some definite proof. Do you know anything yet? No, not yet. That Logan is either one of the smartest numbers I ever run across, or else I'm wrong about him and the other two. You know, these raids are getting worse than ever. If things keep up this way much longer, we're not going to be able to operate at all. I realize that. That's why I'm wanting to see you. You remember that old saying about uh, when thieves fall out? Yes, why? We're going to find out just how true that is. How do you mean? I want you to send for Weaver. And when he gets here, I'm going to tell you a little plan I have. Why won't you let me help you? I don't need any help. See what you made me do? See? We'll have around. It's probably getting another one in there. That's enough of the real silver. Oh, you're so strong. They'll never find this. Cassidy, do you think Logan will fall for the bait? If he don't, we're in for a lot of trouble. I guess the only thing we can do is take a chance. Well, I'm perfectly willing. Have you taken care of everything else? Yeah. I also told the boys to scatter at the first sign of trouble. Good. Well, I'd better see how California and Jennifer are getting along with the loading. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Another one, Lucky. Here you are, folks. California, wait. Ooh, homemade cookies. Coffee sure smells good. I hope you like it, Lucky. Mighty nice of you to bring it down. I brought this for you. I made these cookies myself. Luke adored them. He'd eat dozens and dozens. Kind of a two-legged pig, huh? <laughs> Luke used to cool his coffee just like that. Well, if he did, I don't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Too bad. You burned yourself. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. Don't hurry. How you get along with your loading, old timer? Fine. Well, why isn't the other wagon hitched up? Oh, we're such good packers. I got it all in one wagon. Good. But there's something bothering me, Hoppy. Yeah, I kind of noticed Aunt Jennifer's got her bonnet set for you. Oh, uh, <laughs> weren't that? I hope. <laughs> no, what's bothering me is this. 
How do we unload the real silver without Logan and Jaeger getting wise? You'd better start wondering about Aunt Jennifer and let Weaver take care of the unloading. Come on. It's all right, Logan. They're our men. Our men? What do you mean? Well, we're going to switch the silver to the pack train in order to cross up those bandits. I thought you knew about it. It's news to me. Why didn't you tell me about it before we got started? I thought Dana told you. You expect us to guard that pack train, too? No, we'll keep on heading to the railroad or the wagon after we switch the silver. But why? What's the use? If those raiders are laying for us, we turn back, they're liable to suspect the truth and go after the pack train. I guess you're right, Weaver. All right, boys, get busy. Ready to go. If you're ready, don't tell anybody but Forbes. Understand? Now, when you get to the railroad, take all these boxes with Alan. There you go. Looks like your plan to begin to work. I don't know. We'll know more about that when we get back. Start it again, find some excuse to drop out and let the boys know the change. safely? We did, Dan. Anything happened to the pack train? <laughs> they raided it. Frank, tell them what happened. They jumped us on the other side of the canyon. We saw them coming, so we all scattered. You were right, Cassidy. We'll string... Ah, uh, just a minute. If Logan smells a rat when he finds out that loot isn't silver, we're gonna run right into a hornet's nest. But if they all think they're being double-crossed, we'll be able to round them up without risking any more lives. That sounds mighty good to me, Hank. Where'd you leave Logan? We split up on the other side of the fork. What are you figuring on us doing? I want you to round up the men and wait here for me. All right, Cassidy. I'm going in town to look things over. Come on. Where are you going? Well, I'm going into town to look things over. Not this time. Thanks. work, boys. Listen, Yeager. I'm warning you. If you and Logan are trying to put one over on me, I'll shut up before I lose my temper. Ah, uh, I... Well, where's the silver? What's the matter with you two? Something gone wrong? Here's what we got. The rest of the boxes are just the same, packed with nothing but iron. Uh-huh. Now, you wouldn't be trying to double-cross me, would you? You're a little slow on that draw. Maybe you better practice up a little. Take your hand off. I don't like the looks of this deal. Shut up. 
Where are the rest of the boys? Oh, they're in town keeping their ears open. Let's go in and see if they've learned anything. Come on. California, you look real pretty. I don't want to look pretty. Poppy ever sees me with this thing on, he'd... There's Weaver and the Vigilantes. I better join them. No, 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 no. You're... Be... They'll call you when they want to. You sit right down and shall be seen. I'm going in the house to make the upside down cakes. I ain't no peace shelling galoot. Right. Upside down cake. Cassidy, to get back here yet? Where's his two friends? What's the matter, Hank? Plenty. Listen to this. Bullion boxes dropped by loading train. Contents, iron bars instead of silver. Send instructions. Allen, agent. Oh, there must be some mistake. Why, you helped the boys load the silver yourself. Sure, but they must have pulled a switch so their outlaw friends could grab them without trouble. <laughs> You're a loco. Cassidy's no thief. I've known him for years. Well, maybe you have. But I'm convinced he sold us a bill of goods about Logan just to get us to fall for his scheme. Now listen, Hank. If they're outlaws, why did they risk their lives to break up the raid on that bank? That was just a scheme so they'd make a bigger haul. Half of that silver belonged to me and some of the boys. When we get our hands on Cassidy and his friends, they're stretching rope. So you better tell us, Dan. Is that Californian lucky still here? Looking for me? Hey, what's the idea? Where's that silver you and your pal stole? Hey, if this is your idea of a joke, it isn't funny. I ain't joking. Read this. Tie him up. You better wait until Cassidy gets back. He'll be able to explain everything. But, Hank, you don't think that Bucky... You stay out of this, honey. Don't move. Any of you. Bucky! Thanks, Helen. desert rat hadn't have found and doctored me. I'm surprised to see you three still alive. What's the matter? Ain't he showed up yet? No, it'll be just too bad for him if and when he does show up. Yeah? What do you mean? Three gunmen blew into town last week looking for him. And they're still here. They stopped him over the hotel. You want to take a look at him? Not a bad idea. Maybe they're friends of mine from down Santa Fe. You know, if this Cassidy meets up with all the men in town that are hunting for him, he'll look like a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's one of them now. Called himself Bill. So he's one of the killers out to get Cassidy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Why, what's so funny about it? Nothing funny about it. 
That's Hopalon Cassidy himself. Pick up some of the boys and get him. That'll be a pleasure. certain I was dead. The vigilantes are after us, Hoppy. We're lucky. In plenty of trouble, that's why I came to find you. Let's go. Out of their mind, they didn't steal the silver. We've gone through all that before. You better talk up. Where'd you hide it? You were there when we shipped it. You know as much about it as I do. All right, boys. You can't do this, Hank. You're making a terrible mistake. Get Miss Forbes out of here. Glad you got here in time, Hoppy. So am I. Get back there. What is this California tells me about us stealing the silver? That's right. Weaver thinks you're all outlaws. The agent from the railroad station sent him a telegram. Yeah? Where is that telegram? He didn't cover California. Iron bars. California, are you sure you carried out some of the real silver when you was loading that wagon? I sure am sure. Why, it was right. Well, I don't know. Hoppy, with that Jennifer woman hanging around me, I ain't sure what am I to carry it out. Then maybe the silver's still in our warehouse. Might be a good idea to go back and find out. California, you get our horses? All right, get going and don't try any funny business. Cassidy. Looks like I made a blame fool of myself. Making a fool of yourself wouldn't have saved you if anything had happened to that boy. Now I've got some unfinished business to take care of. 
Helen, would you please get me some paper and envelopes? Sure, I will, Happy. Yeah, some paper and envelopes. You know, Weaver, when I first started to load the wagons, I thought I'd put the silver right over there. I, uh, well, maybe evidently I didn't. hit the bullion here. He's double crossed us both. I'll take care of him as soon as I settle with you. Now drop that gun belt and no tricks. You men come with me.
hands off unless we can get them out and over. Come here. I've got an idea that might get them out of there. Give me a bandana. What's the matter? Catching cold? No. Maybe they are. I'm gonna send them a few pills. Give me some of your shells. Now oh, more, more. Come on. that fur. Those are the pills I'm gonna send Logan and his friend. Pills? Yeah. I don't get it. You will if these land where I want them to. chance don't believe everything you read thanks take him into town weaver get going that's all cool. you get him nobody there <laughs> so long weaver goodbye Cassidy. goodbye hoppy and thanks for everything all right then goodbye helen goodbye hoppy come on lucky Say, I'm going to wait for California. Oh, he'll be along in a minute. He's probably out spooning with Jennifer. Bye. 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 California. Wait for me. In the See you at the bar, 20! 